So every once in a while, we love to show off products that are actually made and manufactured with 3D printing and explain why they're really special and why they are a really good example of how this technology is making actual real products. And today we're gonna to talk about Tons, who is manufacturing cycling accessories with 3D printing. Now the theme of Tons is sports gear without the sports look. They are a Denmark-based company that manufactures hangers, organizers, and stands for cyclists when they're working out in their home. They are a wonderful minimalist Scandinavian design that actually uses third-party components from small wooden stakes to very small inserts that allow them to really upgrade the 3D printed parts and perform functions that just lone 3D printed parts would either be too slow, too expensive, or too cumbersome to do. And as a side note here, this is a really good way to make a product. Almost no product is made from one single plastic part. But what Tons does is they very intelligently and very carefully use basically the same part throughout all of their parts. The wooden stakes that they use in all of their pieces are just very variations of length, which makes them very easy to manufacture while still maintaining a premium appearance and exceptionally high function. And this is really easy to do, whether you're making it yourself or hiring a service like Slant3D to manufacture your products. Simple third-party components that insert and have basic assembly steps to put together either when the customer gets it or within a factory setting when the 3D printed parts are completed is a really good way to design a product because there's not a high manufacturing requirement around tolerances or assembly or processes. They're very obvious and very clear how they go together and they create a very nice looking product when they're done because everything is so intentional, but they still have limited inventory because there aren't 50 different screws to pull from. There's about two separate items which add value to the kit and create the finished, in this case, stand. So why does Tons use 3D printing for this? Surely they can manufacture these any other way. Well, actually not necessarily. The design of these stands actually does make them unmanufacturable by other processes, but 3D printing offers them so many other advantages. Number one, they're able to produce it in bioplastic, in this case, PLA. And since they're an indoor application, PLA is a perfect material for that. There's absolutely no reason and that it can't work and create a very good high quality product because they're so well designed and intended for that end process. Additionally, since they're 3D printed on demand when orders come through, which is the best way to do it, there's no excess inventory that Tons has to maintain, but they're still able to scale up if they ever have surges in demand. And there's just less waste than traditional manufacturing. If you look really close at the stands themselves, you can see that grid pattern. That grid pattern is actually quite expensive to create with traditional manufacturing, which is why when you go to like a cafeteria, you see just a flat plastic slab to hold all your plates on. Putting grids and patterns into something like that radically increases the startup cost. Whereas with 3D printing, it's just much more affordable and you're ultimately using less material than that flat plastic slab. But even more than this, and one of the most special things about using 3D printing in this application is the fact that they're able to modify the design. When they get a piece of customer feedback, they're able to implement it on all products going forward. And if they have a new idea for a new product or their own modification, they can do it immediately. And this is really a applied within their partnership service, where they have worked with a number of different brands. They have created custom trays that have mountains and trails on them that serve as maps for these cyclists, which creates a wonderful personal touch, and it's exceptionally hard to do to create all the variation that is necessary based on the geography that a buyer might be coming from or that a company might be based out of. This is a wonderful way to radically improve a product without making a major modification, but it improves it and makes it so so much more special for the end customer experience. So ultimately what Tons has done is they have created a very well refined product that has few third party components, but a few that really upgrade it from just a standard 3D printed part. They're taking advantage of all the ecological and economic advantages that 3D printing allows within manufacturing. And then they're also taking it one step further and really being visionary with it by allowing the modification to create a product that is truly unique and can be almost specific to the customer or to the company that wants to have it made just for them. So it's an awesome example of how to use 3D printing to produce real, final, real-world products. Have a great day, everyone.